This is one of the best one-minute scalping strategies that you can find for free on YouTube. Watch this video until the end and I guarantee you that if you follow proper risk management with this strategy, you will be able to succeed in the markets. My name is Chris, I am the owner of ChrisFX and I am a 7-figure funded trader teaching traders how to become profitable every single day. Let's now begin with our video. And to begin with, we are starting with some very important remarks right here. As I'm saying, trading should be kept simple. Remember that, guys, do not overcomplicate trading. Learn one single strategy, or if you know multiple strategies, choose the one that goes hand in hand with uh, your character, let's say, or your personality, and then follow only this one. Now, the more you complicate things, it will get harder. So if you go ahead and search for 2 million confluences, the worse trading will get and the more boring it will get. Trading should be boring anyways, so if you make it even more boring, this is a recipe towards disaster. I'm saying making things harder does not mean an increase in the statistical significance of a winning strategy, and this means that it doesn't mean that you will be increasing the statistics of a certain strategy necessarily. You might even decrease them. It doesn't mean that if I add 2,000 confluences, the strategy is going to get better. Not only that, I will have less opportunities to trade, which means less earnings in the end of the day, in the end of the week, and in the end of the month. Now, before we begin with the strategy, I want you always to take a look at what you are seeing right here, we are only on the one minute time frame and I want you to see if you recognize a little bit at least what we're going to be showing with this strategy. If you already have an idea, then you are on the right path. If not, don't worry, we will proceed with this strategy. We're going to show step by step how to do it and then I'm going to go to the real charts and I'm going to show you there. Let's begin now. So first of all, I'm saying that we need to establish a certain trend. Okay, we establish the trend again on the one minute time frame only. We will not be looking at any other time frames. No other time frames are gonna be needed. Why is this an uptrend? Because at least on the one minute time frame, because we are creating higher highs and higher lows as you can see right here. And if you are not able to understand this concept, then this video might be a little bit more advanced for you and you need to learn the basics first. But I suppose that most of you already know about those concepts. So let's proceed. And I decided, by the way, to make this time of outlook where the images that I'm posting are way, way larger so that you will be able to see the tiny, tiny details. Okay. This is exactly how I'm also doing things when I'm trading in the signals group. I'm showing everything in great detail and we are having an amazing winning percentage there. You don't want to miss that and you don't want to miss the strategy that I'm teaching in the one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So go ahead and subscribe right now. Let's continue. Once we have established the trend on the one minute time frame, in this occasion it was an uptrend, we are only focusing on the most recent leg. Now it is important to understand what we mean by the most recent leg. What creates a new leg? In this case that we have an uptrend, we want to see a low being created and then a new push. So of course here we have also a high that was created. This is a low. Why is this a low? Because this low right here is lower than the low to its right and it is lower than the low of the candlestick to its left. Furthermore, you can definitely say that this is a high. Why? Because it is higher than the high to its right and higher than the high to its left. And we see if we extend the horizontal line, this now gets broken. So pay attention to the tiny little details because you will need them. So the most recent leg was the leg which was initiated right here. Now let's proceed a slight further. Here we are. Okay, we say this is the valid low, as we said, because it is lower than the low to the right and than the low to its left. Now, liquidity creation, very important thing. 
Once we have identified, and we'll be reading from here, it is important that you read what I have written down over here. Once we have identified the most recent leg, we need to identify some form of liquidity. In other words, I say we will not be stepping into the trade right on the first retracement into the FVG, and I will explain, bear with me. We will identify liquidity and we will wait for it to be taken. Then we can go ahead and step into a trade. So this is the whole secret of this strategy and of course the entry and the stop loss play a role as well as the take profit. We have identified a proper low and a high. This gets broken. There is an FEG on this current leg and the secret is that you are not using this FEG. So you are not entering somewhere here or here as most people are doing. This will increase your probabilities significantly. So pay attention. Instead, you are waiting for some form of liquidity to be created. And how do we know that this right here is liquidity? Because this is a proper low. It is lower than the low of the candlestick to its right and lower than the low of the candlestick to its left. So it is a proper point of liquidity. Let's proceed. As I said, we will not be entering from this fair value gap that most people are entering from. And furthermore, as you will see in the second example that I'm going to be showing with this presentation, before we move right on the live charts, we will also be entering from order blocks with this strategy, which makes it way more interesting, actually. So we are not entering here. We are waiting for the liquidity to be grabbed. Okay. And I see a small typo here. This was supposed to be a D. This was not supposed to be an S. We will wait for the liquidity that we identified to be grabbed. Let's proceed. Liquidity grab. From the overall picture, this is the exact same place in time. And we are grabbing our liquidity exactly right here. Now, how are we looking to enter? Where are we entering from? This is very important also with this strategy. The entry, as I'm saying here, is exactly at the first momentum candlestick after the grab of liquidity and the tap on the fair value gap. We are always targeting a 2 to 1 reward to risk, no more than that, no less than that. So, not only we need to grab liquidity, Below the liquidity, we also need to have either a fair value gap, as you see right here, or I will say that from now, even though we will see it in the second example, an order block. And this is our order block in this occasion. Everything on the one minute time frame. We are entering on the first momentum candlestick, as we said, and this is the candlestick that goes towards the direction that we want to trade. So this will be a bullish candlestick. Of course, if this would be a pin bar and the body would be like that, you wouldn't be entering. You would be waiting for an additional one. The stop loss goes right below the low. It could have been even tighter over here and you're targeting a 2 to 1 RR. You are following that mechanically and you are not having any discretion. You're not waiting for 50% of the zone or anything like that. You keep following the same and the same thing again and again which is exactly what we are doing also in the trading signals. We are following the king strategy. We have abandoned the queen's strategy, as we were calling it. It had a very high winning percentage, around 80%, but it was winning way less than the king, which has around 55 to 60% winning percentage, but it is winning way, way more. So we transition to that right because it is a strategy which is mechanical and every single one of you can learn. You don't need to put your intuition into play, let's say, or your knowledge. I do have the video of the full strategy, of course, in the signals group and in the academy. Of course, I can teach it in the one-on-one, -on -one, but in the one-on-one, -on -one, I'm teaching a way better strategy anyways. But the king strategy is what we're trading almost exclusively in the trading signals. And it has very clear rules, entry, stop loss, the same for everybody. There is no chance that you can miss the trade. I am talking about the trade half an hour before it is taking place. And we're having a trade every single day. It will be, let's say, 95% of the days we will be having one trade. Let's move on. And here we will be going to the second example. We will be looking into the second example where I'm going to show an order block entry. 
Let's break this leg down the same way that we did with our first example. Do you see the whole thing as you see it right here? You might not be able to identify what I'm referring to. And there is a higher probability that you will not be able to identify it if you are not an experienced trader. But don't worry, I'm here for you guys. Just take a look at that. Do not move forward into the video and see if you can see exactly what I showed you in the previous example. If not, no problem at all. We move on. We will break down the leg as we said exactly the same way as we did beforehand. This is our most recent leg. Why is this the most recent leg, guys? Because the reason for that, as I'm saying, is that at the bottom left, we can see a valid low being created. And which is the low in this occasion? It is the low of this candlestick right here. Why is this a valid low? Because the low of it is lower than the low of the candlestick to its left and lower than the low of the candlestick to its right. This could have been also a bullish candlestick, no problem at all. This is still a valid low, okay? So this makes it the most recent leg. Now you will say, where is the liquidity, Chris? Let's see. There we go. This is the most recent leg, as we said. And here is the first point of liquidity. And the first FEG that, as we said, we are not gonna be trading. So people after the tap on this FEG, the, most of them waited for an impulsive candlestick. They entered right here, stop loss below this area, and price reversed and stopped them out. The stop losses are below this area. This is so significant that you can also use it to trade the opposite way. So it is a little bit more advanced and it is way riskier. Do not do it if you are not experienced, but you can even use it to trade against those stop losses at some point. Let's proceed. The liquidity now is this point right here. Why is that a point of liquidity? Because the low of this candlestick is lower than the low of the candlestick to the left and lower than the low of the candlestick to the right. So instead of placing the order from the FEG, as we saw in the previous slide, we will be waiting for this liquidity to be grabbed. And here come some more secrets, of course. You will tell me, how do we know, Chris, if price is going to react from an FEG and FEG instead? And how do we know from what point of interest price will react in general? We don't know that. This is where the important rule of momentum candlestick comes into play. So from this FVG, if we would be seeing a reaction with a pin bar, let's say, or a bullish candlestick, we would be entering from this FVG, no problem. But look how we penetrated it with this bearish candlestick right here. We just did penetrate the FVG area. Are there any more effigies below this area? No, there are no more effigies below this area. But what is there below this area? We have the beautiful order block. This is the order block area. It is the last bearish candlestick before the bullish momentum came into play that you can see right here. And this example on its left, there was a high also that got broken. So don't worry about that. Focus on what I'm teaching you. And price instead came instantly and tapped into this area and gave us a momentum candlestick, which is this green candlestick or otherwise this bullish candlestick, this buyer's candlestick that we see right here. So this trade you wouldn't be taking. Look how the probabilities stack up in your favor. This trade you wouldn't be taking. Why? Because it is the first FVG. You are waiting for liquidity to be grabbed. So you weren't stopped out here because you didn't take the trade. In this FVG, you didn't see a momentum candlestick. This would qualify, but you didn't see a momentum candlestick. And instead, you took your trade from the order block area that we see down here, right because you saw a bullish momentum candlestick. You see how the probabilities stack up in your favor now. Very nice. And this is exactly how the order would look like. We would be taking the trade 
at the momentum candlestick, this is enough, and the stop loss can go even right below it. I'm always leaving just a little bit of space when I'm trading every any strategy. Uh, besides the king and the queen strategy, the kings nowadays only. The king strategy, as I said, has exact stop loss, take profit rules every single time. Well, I don't mean that we have the exact same ticks. I mean that we are using the Fibonacci tool to pinpoint the exact stop loss and take profit. So we are adjusting to the market with the facilitation, which means with the help of the Fibonacci tool. Okay, guys. So now that the presentation is over, I will go ahead and move to the charts. And the charts are right here. And we are going to see the very same examples on the charts. Okay. These are the charts right here. And I'm going to give you some secrets as well right here, as I can see. So let me see if I have some secrets. Yeah, I can talk about... This was the first example that we showed in the presentation. This exact example right here, if you recall. And the second example was this example right here on the same move. Now, here you wouldn't be having anything, but let's go ahead and analyze now this leg. Let me see if this is the proper leg. I think, yeah. This leg right here, let's forget about those, okay? Those two we showed. You still see a recent leg. And you will tell me what was the recent leg. Let's assume that we are playing price action as it is. This is a very nice example where price did not give you a trade. This is a proper low because it is lower than the low of the candlestick to the right. Excuse me about that. And it is also lower than the low of the candlestick to its left. So, this now is the most recent leg. It breaks structure here and it also breaks structure here. Okay, what would we be expecting? We wouldn't be entering from an FEG right here, let's say. Why? Because we don't have any liquidity being created. So this we will not be doing. Let's see. There we go. Now we have the liquidity almost. Let's see. Yeah, now we have the liquidity which has been created. And the liquidity is this point right here. Now, since we have created this liquidity, by the way, we can go ahead and trade below it, okay? Because there is liquidity being created, this FEG is validated on its own instantly. Of course, now, price never came back to grab the liquidity and tap into our FEG. And here we moved to the most recent example, if you recall. So let me go ahead and do that. The leg started from this low, okay? And we have a proper low, which is this low right here, as we said. And we have another proper low, which is the low right here. This is the liquidity. So, if this is grabbed, we will be entering in this trade right here. Actually, I don't know if this is the example that we showed. I don't think so. Or we could also be entering right here if we see a momentum candlestick. This is also an FEG. So those FEGs qualify. The whole point was that we will not be entering from this FEG because there was no liquidity grabbed. This was the whole point. Okay, so this you forget as an entry. You wait for the liquidity to be created. You wait for the liquidity to be grabbed and for a momentum candlestick. Do you see a momentum candlestick here? No, you don't. But what is this thing right here? This is your order block. Okay, the order block also qualifies. And here we go, you have the momentum candlestick and you can take your trade from here with the stop loss right below this candlestick and you should always be targeting at least a 2 to 1 reward to risk. And yes, this was the example that we showed previously and your target is easily hit. Here, you wouldn't be taking the trade from this 
fair value gap. Instead, you would be waiting for a high to be created in this occasion. Let's see, now we have a high being created. It is this high. Those people who entered here, they lost. And you can enter from this FEG area or from the order block area after the grab of liquidity will have taken place. This is a proper high. It is higher than the high to the left, higher than the high to the right. Higher than the high to the left, the left is here, and higher than the high to its right. So let's wait for it. Let's forget about that. We see that we are moving now. It might be just a retracement on a higher time frame, but for us, on the one minute only, we are scalping, it is a downtrend, a small downtrend. We are entering here, and of course now the momentum candlestick, you wouldn't be able to trade, it is very, very large. But if you would like to enter on a retracement, and let's wait for another candlestick, if you would like to enter right here, you can do so and have a tiny stop loss. Or if you want to increase your stop loss, feel free to do so as well. Those are things that you can modify according to your liking. There you go. So in this occasion, you would have lost and it is funny exactly where I placed the stop loss. Okay, you need to go for a 2 to 1 RR on all of these occasions. Remember that, guys. Okay, in all of these occasions, you should be going for a 2 to 1 reward to risk. No less than that. Many times, of course, you will see that this will be working exactly right on the push, the first FEG, but you will significantly, you will significantly increase your probabilities of winning the trade. This is a perfect example. Again, if we take this leg right here, where the low is this low right here, the instant FEG where many people would be entering from would be this fair value gap. But we will not be doing that. We will be waiting for some form of liquidity to be created. Now we have our liquidity. Do we have an FEG below it? Yes, we have the remaining part of the FEG and we have this FEG as well. So instead we will be waiting for a retracement, which never happened in this occasion. Okay, and price continued towards the upside. This also is gonna happen, guys. No question about that, but now if this candlestick would have broken below, you would be taking your trade from this candlestick right here. Now this is another example, of course we don't really like when this example is happening, okay? But in order to show you that this thing works again and again and again, in this example it is a little bit different because you can trade it as such also, I will explain what I mean. You don't always need to have another fair value gap up there. Many people are buying impulsively. You have a leg, you are identifying some form of liquidity, so you can exclude one of the rules, but the liquidity is not a rule that you would like to exclude. Identify any FEGs below the liquidity and order blocks. You have an FEG and we have our order block over here as well. So all of this, this whole area is valid. There you go. This might not be the best momentum, let's say, candlestick, but it is certainly a change in momentum. And you can place the stop loss right there and you can go for a 2 to 1 reward to risk. And even though the time is not the best time in the world, as you can see, okay, it is 6.45 p.m. New York time, but still the concept works. So one thing that you can do if you want to take more trades, you can just identify some form of liquidity without an FEG being present in the first leg. This is something that you can definitely do. By the way, if we are to check out this move from the past, look how price even made it after grabbing all of this liquidity exactly to this FEG. But this is price grabbing multiple forms of liquidity and it is beside the point of this video right here. So go ahead guys, if you want to learn the best strategies out there once and for all, stop wasting your precious money to scammers and skimmers out there, come to ChrisFX, I'm gonna teach you. I am a seven figure funded trader who is taking his trades live, okay? I have shown also how I'm passing accounts and how I have blown 
challenges, not real accounts, I have shown that live, absolutely, and I'm doing that live every single day. I'm going and I'm showing how I'm taking my trades with exact take profits and stop losses, and I'm not joking around. Go ahead and join the academy, the signals, or the mentoring, or all of them, if you want to find the best success, of course. Furthermore, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video, share it with all of your family, as I have said, and all of your friends. Every single one of them needs to know about ChrisFX. We are revolutionizing the trading space and we are bringing the truth back into the game by doing everything live and recording every single session for months and leaving every single recording uploaded. So there is no room for manipulation here. This is gonna do it for today, traders, and thank you all for watching. Until next time.